everyone, my name is Regine Bennett, along with me are John Mark Point, Adelia Mitchell and Jean Joyce, and we are proud junior broadcasters of the Kids Hub Media Network, and we are here at the 123rd stage of the Penn Village. It's a great vibe, as we would say in Jamaica, which means the hype and the energy is here. So I'm going to ask each of us to share their experience. Uh, well, how are you? Ladies first. You can go first, ladies. Thanks, John Mark. Real gentleman here. So I believe my experience was really good. It's the first day so far, tomorrow is the last day. So I believe the energy will be built on some more. And the Ronald River, no less than Jamaica always does. And we're looking forward to coming up with some real uh, good amount of gold. My experience so far has been good. We traveled from Jersey yesterday and it was a pretty good drive. The runners here are warm. We see them warm enough and they look at like they're in really good shape. They look at like they're ready for tomorrow, which is mainly the finals. And we expect the Jamaican team to come on top and the teams to bring vibes. Okay. Um, well, my experience so far has been amazing. We traveled from New Jersey where it was cold to Philadelphia. Now it's actually hot and we expected it to be cold. Yeah. Um, and so far we realized that it's not as heated, but I'm looking forward to, to the next two days where I'm sure it will be heated because the finals and so will be coming up. And I expect this to be a very, a very um, intense friend really this year. Uh, well, for me, I think we had a good day uh, as it relates to setting up and getting everything prepared to conduct and start our full broadcast, which will fully officially commence tomorrow. So please stay tuned to watching us. For me today, I think um, we didn't get much done in terms of content, but we did get enough done in terms of how we set up and how we got our plan together. Um, and viewers and listeners, just please, um, you can, the pen release this year, you might not see the major stars of Jamaica. But you can also look out for Calabar's Christopher Taylor, he's here this year. But there are some absents that you might have seen at the Issa Boys and Girls Champs in Jamaica, such as Sachin Dennis of States, um, as well as Kiara Grant of Alpha, those stars that show themselves prominent in the championships. They would not be a thing in the penalties, which is really sad for the schools. And, and also the penalties and viewers, because I'm sure they'd love to see them here. So, thank you. Yes, John Morgan. As we can see here in the Team Jamaica, Bicker Village people are enjoying themselves with some nice rocking reggae music. I mean, they can't keep those funny bones and dancing bones inside of them still. And Adelia, what are you looking forward to see tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing good races, good finals, mm -hmm. the place to be, have full of energy, everyone mm -hmm. having fun and enjoying themselves. I mean, that's what the penalty is all about. Yeah, girl. Jean? Um, well, for me, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm looking forward to the stadium being full or because tomorrow will be one of the days that everybody looks forward to, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Denmark. Well, I agree with Jean. Today, well, tomorrow will be the last day of the pen release as it relates to the event, and it will commence pen release week. Um, there will be a lot of people here tomorrow, that's definite. And we can hope to see a build up in the energy and hopefully a decrease in the temperature. I would prefer that, definitely. <laughs> I'm expecting for us to do some really good coverage. I mean, we are a great team. I'm looking forward to for us to deliver and just to support the Jamaican team because we're all Jamaicans and definitely. we're proud. Yeah. So thanks everyone for staying to the Media Network at the 123rd stage of the Pen Relays. Giving you a global voice.